looking good so far. And we may have to size it a little bit, the rim, once we get the uh, outer edge right here of the rim done. So let's go back to the objects window, unselect that, select the disk again, and now we're going to work on bringing this edge out. Now, make sure you got the extrude tool selected, extrude it out a little bit again, and then pull it up a little bit. We want a real rough edge here, so just leave just a tiny bit. Okay, now extrude it out just again, and go ahead and raise it up about halfway, and extrude one more time, just a little tiny bit, and then go ahead and pull it up where it almost meets the tire. There we go. Now we need to put the edge of the rim. So extrude, and extrude one more time, a little bit further up, and go ahead and use your scale tool. And scale out just a little bit, extrude again, a, lot, a little bit more, about the same you just, that you just did before, the same as before, and then scale it out. There we go. Scale it back in just a little bit. That's a little too much. Okay. Okay. And extrude again. And this is going to be our flat area. So do it a little, about half of what you did the extrude before. And then kind of get to flatten it out with the other one. You may have to view it. And we know we're pretty good right there. So what we're going to do is go ahead to the objects window. And we're going to hide this. And we highlighted the green on the rim, so it's going to show up when we hide everything else. Okay. Now that looks pretty straight right there. So we're going to extrude again and go about the same as this one over here. So let's make it a little bit bigger. Scale tool. Out like that. And then pull it down. Space bar and pull it down like that. Now we want to extrude again. And this one we want to go down a lot more and pull it in more. Okay, there we go. Extrude again. And pull this one in, scale it in. There we go. If you want to see how that's looking, go ahead and go to Hypernubs, turn that on. And there we go, we're getting a pretty good edge to it. Now, this is going to be a kind of a low poly rim. So we're not going to worry about too much detail inside here because nobody's ever going to see that part, but we're going to go ahead and pull it all the way to the other side of the tire and do the other side of the rim. So what we want to do is go ahead and extrude again, just one little bitty one, and then pull it all the way down. And then go here and turn your tire on so that we can see it. Go ahead and turn off the hypernub so we can see what we're doing and everything moved pretty good move easier. Pull it down here where it almost meets the tire. And what we did is we came from the inside and if we went to polygon mode you're going to see that we select all. This is the uh, that these are need to be set to normal on here, which we're not going to worry about right now. And when we get, would get to texturing, we would do that. But all we would do is reverse them. But what we need to do now is go ahead back to the edge tool and the line tool. I don't know why I call it edge tool. And do the extrude again. And we want to go back. We want to go the opposite. We want to go this way around because we're going to come back this way. Okay, so go out a little bit. I'm going to go a little bit faster here. There we go. Go out a lot. Nobody's going to see this, but we'll do a little bit more detail. Pull it down a little bit and extrude one more time. Bring it in. Extrude again. Bring it in a lot. This is our flat area again. There we go. Extrude again, bring it in just a little bit, extrude again, one time, go ahead and drop it down about right there, and extrude one more time, just a little bit, and then one more time, and then you want to go ahead and draw this up where it goes past our 
detail areas. Now, normally you wouldn't, you wouldn't do a rim like that, but I'm doing it so it just goes all the way around, and I hide those normals so they're not messed up. So if I go to polygon mode and I select select all, everything's red. So that when I add a material, everything's going to show up and render correctly. So, all right, there's our basic rim to it. Let's go to top view. We still got more work to do. Push in A to get a solid view of it. You can save your work again. And now we want to just go to regular object mode and scale tool. We want to scale it up just a little bit and then pull it up a little bit. Make sure that it's fit correctly. That looks pretty good. Let's go to scale tool again. Let's make it a little bit bigger and pull up just a little bit. And we want a tiny bit of air space there between the rim and the tire to make it look real. And there's our real our wheel set, our rim set correctly in there. Now let's check the other side, make sure we lined up right. Uh, we need to pull that down a little bit. So go to F4 front view, go to points mode, go to your rectangle selection tool, and we can do this blindly because we know there's no other polys there that are going to get in the way unless you added some. So just pull it down till it looks good. A little air between it, the rim and the tire. Just a little tiny bit. There we go. And there's our rim pretty much done. We're not going to add the lug nut holes because I wanted to have a cap to cover up the lug nut holes. I don't like to see the lug nuts. But you may, and what you can do for that is you can go in here and cut circles in here or use a bloom, to, uh, bloom tool to um, cut the holes out if you want to. I'm not going to do that, so I'm just going to keep it like that because I like that. But what we need to do now is add our cap. And just simply take this disk. Let's rename it. Well, we'll leave it as disk right now. Copy, paste it, go down here and name this rim. Okay. I like everything cap. So cap box of rim. Okay. And let's name this one cap. Okay. Now, remember earlier we selected that Go back that uh, polygon mode, select that, downsize this, downsize that. Let's see if I do this correctly. Let's invert, delete. We still have that there. So invert again so that we select those polygons. We're going to make our cap. Go to point mode, select all, optimize, get rid of those excess points that we don't need. Go back to polygon mode. Okay, now what we're going to do is make the cap. Extrude tool. Extrude in just a little tiny bit, and then one more time to give us an edge there, then pull this up to about halfway of where it, this wall of the rim is, the inside right there, and then extrude one more time, about halfway I would say, a little bit less, pull it up so it sticks out a lot, we want to bubble to it, and do it one more time, about halfway, a little bit more, and pull it up like that, and I'm going to leave it like that, and that's our cap, okay? Next, what we want to do is go back to our Objects Manager, and you can drop the cap inside here, inside the rim, because it's part of the rim. There we go. And go ahead and name this Tire Rims, or just Rim, Tire Rim. There we go. And that is the Tire and Rim. Let's do a quick little render here and see what happens. And it looks pretty good right here. And there's more detail that we could do to this. I could add some lines here and add the lettering that, but we're doing a simple a simple tire and simple rim. And that's pretty good for a simple tire and simple rim right there. That's a lot of detail for it. All right. And that's the end of step 27 of uh, modeling the rim and adding it to the tire. Next, we'll add it to the... Uh, truck. We'll add the rim and tires to the truck. Okay.